Hi, I'm Lauren Gleason. I'm a registered dietitian and board certified specialist in kidney nutrition. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about low sodium pasta sauces that you can buy, so not ones you have to make from scratch. Um, and if you like videos like this and you want me to make more, then be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to let me know. All right, so pasta is one of the most popular foods in the world, and it's also a popular dinner idea in many households. Anybody can boil some noodles and crack open a jar of sauce, right? The problem is that pasta sauces are notoriously high in sodium. A single half of a cup of pasta sauce can easily have more than 700 milligrams of sodium. That's almost a third of your recommended intake. Now, typically here at Kindy Booty, we recommend choosing foods that have less sodium than calories. This is a simple way to determine whether or not a food is high in sodium. However, it's not a fair assessment of pasta sauce. Now why? Because pasta sauce is almost always paired with pasta, which is sodium free. And a typical serving of pasta has 200 calories and zero milligrams of sodium. This means that you can choose a pasta sauce that has a bit more sodium in it and pair it with your zero sodium noodles and still end up with a low sodium dish overall. For example, here is two ounces of dry whole grain rotini noodles that I have cooked and a half of a cup of silver palette low sodium marinara sauce. And trust me, half a cup is more than enough for that amount of pasta. Uh, as you can see, the overall meal has 265 calories and only 147 milligrams of sodium, despite using a sauce that has more sodium than calories. So based on that, for this review, we are gonna consider a pasta sauce to be low sodium if it contains no more than 200 additional milligrams of sodium compared to the calories. So that's just enough sodium that would be offset by a serving of pasta. So if your sauce meets that criteria, then you can pair it with a serving of pasta and you can feel confident that you're still enjoying a low sodium meal. Now, if you have kidney disease, then you might be thinking, but isn't pasta sauce high in potassium? And the answer to that is yes, tomato-based pastas such as marinara sauce are considered high in potassium. However, if you've taken our course, and I'll put a link to it in the description of this video, you know that people with CKD who are not on dialysis typically do not need to restrict the amount of potassium they eat, and that there are several other reasons that your potassium might be high that aren't necessarily related to your potassium in your food. Now, if you're on peritoneal dialysis, then you likely need to be consuming more potassium, so yay for that. Um, and if you're on hemodialysis, then you may need to limit your intake. So if that's the case, cream or cheese-based sauces are typically lower in potassium, especially if they don't contain any tomatoes. Despite containing dairy, they're also typically not that high in phosphorus, unless there are phosphorus additives. And fortunately with pasta sauces, phosphorus additives are not that common. However, they are more likely to be found in sauces that contain cheese, meat, or cream. So do be sure you read the ingredient list when you're shopping. We did go ahead, however, and filter out all those sauces with phosphorus additives in this review. So what pasta sauces are available to purchase that meet our low sodium criteria and have no phosphorus additives? I have all of these listed out on my website, which I'll link to in the description. There are 18 brands, some of which list multiple flavors. So be sure to read through the small descriptions underneath. I also provide the nutrition information for the featured sauce, and I provide a link to at least one retailer where you can check prices. If you choose to buy the product through that link, I might earn a teeny tiny commission from the purchase at no extra charge to you, um, but this does help enable me to keep making these food guides for free. So I do appreciate when people use my link to purchase a product. Um, but let's go ahead and run through these sauces. They're listed in alphabetical order. I'm gonna start with the Bona Fortuna Original Marinara Pasta Sauce. Bona Fortuna makes several low sodium pasta sauces, including an Arabiata marinara, marinara with rosemary, marinara with oregano flowers, uh, and I think that's it. All their flavors are low in fat, so I do recommend drizzling some olive oil on your pasta. This is gonna help make your dish more satisfying. Um, and at this time, I believe you can only buy this brand directly from the manufacturer. But don't worry, there's only a few sauces like this on this list. 
Um, most of the others are available to purchase at large retailers um, and some in grocery stores. Next up is Bove's Sodium-Free Marinara. Bove's also makes a few other different sauces that meet our criteria for a low, for a low sodium pasta sauce, <laughs> including their red pepper and sweet basil flavors. Um, this is another one where at this time, I believe you actually have to order them directly from the retailer though. Next is the Canizaro Vodka Sauce, and I have no idea if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Um, Canizaro makes one sauce that meets our criteria for a low sodium pasta sauce, and at this time, you will need to order it directly from the manufacturer site. Next is Campania San Remo Tomato and Basil Pasta Sauce. Campania San Remo makes one sauce that meets our criteria for a low sodium pasta sauce. Um, the tomato and basil, and you can buy it on Amazon. Next, we've got Cucina Antica Arabiata. Cucina Antica makes several flavors of pasta sauce that meet our criteria for a low sodium pasta sauce. They've got arabiata, garlic marinara, and tomato basil. Um, all their flavors are low in fat, so I recommend drizzling some olive oil on the pasta. And these are available on Amazon. Next up is Del Amor Original Recipe Pasta Sauce. All three flavors from Del Amor meet our criteria for low sodium pasta sauce. They have an original, extra spicy, and a sweet basil and garlic flavor. And I know you can purchase these from Amazon or you can visit their site directly. Next is Frick and Frack Cognac Pasta Sauce. This company makes several sauces that meet our criteria for low sodium pasta sauces, um, including this cognac flavor, Kiss Garden Fresh Pomodoro, and Hala Vodka. Um, do note though that the cognac and the hala vodka both have six milligrams of protein in them because they contain pancetta. Mm. Uh, if you choose those and you've got CKD and you're not on dialysis, be sure to just pair those with a lower sodium protein, um, a lower protein pasta, uh, and you can buy those sauces on Amazon. And if you're not sure what a lower protein pasta is, you can check out my website because I do have a whole food guide on actual pastas. Next is the Giovanni Rana Alfredo sauce. This brand offers several flavors that meet our criteria for low sodium pasta sauces, including their Alfredo and Portobello mushroom. Um, check the deli section of your grocery store to find these. Um, that's, I've, I've heard that's where you can find them. So if you're shopping for these, make sure you go into your deli section. Next is Target's Good and Gather Butternut Squash Pasta Sauce. Um, for something that's a little bit different, you can try this one. Unfortunately, this is the only Target pasta sauce that meets our criteria for a low sodium pasta sauce, so um, you might have to stay away from their other flavors. Next, we have the Guster or Gustar Vita Alfredo from Hy-Vee. If you live near a Hy-Vee store, check out their line of pasta sauces. Most of them are low in sodium. Um, some of the other flavors that I saw that were low in sodium were their Alfredo, four cheese Alfredo, garlic Alfredo, Mediterranean, mushroom, sweet pepper, tomato basil, and truffle. Um, so lucky you if you live near Hy-Vee. Next is Muir Glen Italian Herb Pasta Sauce. This marinara sauce from Muir Glen meets our criteria for a low sodium pasta sauce, and they also make two other sauces that are really close to making our criteria. They're just 10 milligrams off. Um, and those are the fire roasted tomato and chunky tomato. And you can probably still fit those into a kidney diet. Um, these are available on Amazon and they might also be available in your grocery store. Next up, we have Rao's, or Rao's, not sure, sensitive marinara. If you can't handle garlic, if it gives you kind of some tummy trouble, then you can try this sensitive marinara because it's gonna be garlic free and it meets our criteria for a low sodium pasta sauce. Um, this one's available on Amazon and it might also be in your grocery store. Next, we've got Sonoma Gourmet Bacon Alfredo Sauce. If you like cream-based pasta sauces, then you should really check out this company. They have several cream-based pasta sauces and really creative flavors that meet our guidelines for a low sodium pasta sauce. They've got tomato basil alfredo, kale pesto, white cheddar sauce, uh, creamy Alfredo, spinach Alfredo, bacon Alfredo, and cauliflower Alfredo. And none of them contain phosphorus additives, even the one with bacon. Um, and these are available on Amazon and they might also be in your local grocery store. Next up, we've got the Silver Palette Low Sodium Marinara. This is the one that I had featured earlier when I was doing my little pasta sauce and pasta comparison. Um, this is one of the few sauces that actually advertise that it's low sodium. Um, and it is lower in sodium than the majority of sauces on this page. I can usually find this one at most grocery stores, and if you check on Amazon, 
Um, or if you check on Amazon, just know that it's a little pricey on Amazon. You can probably find it cheaper in a grocery store. Um, I also see them on sale pretty frequently, so I do make sure I stock up when they're on sale. Uh, next up, we've got Victoria Low Sodium Marinara. Uh, this one also advertises very clearly that it's low in sodium, and you can buy this one on Amazon. Next is Wegmans Low Sodium Smooth Marinara. If you live near a Wegmans, then you are in luck. They also make three cream-based sauces that meet our criteria for a low-sodium pasta sauce. They have blush vodka sauce, amore cauliflower alfredo, and amore alfredo. Next, we've got Whole Foods Basil Pesto. And like most pesto sauces, this is a higher calorie sauce, which means it can have a bit more sodium in it without seeming too high. Um, once paired with plain pasta, this is considered a low sodium pasta sauce. And I do want to note that the serving size for pesto is usually a quarter of a cup. So when you're measuring it out, don't be sure not to go overboard. Last but not least, we have it Yo Mama's Spicy Marinara. This company makes eight different flavors of low sodium pasta sauce. And while they do actually say low sodium on the label, it's not very prominent, so you could easily overlook it. Uh, their flavors include original marinara, bellissimo basil, spicy marinara, glorious roasted garlic, velvety vodka, radiant rosé wine, fresh burgundy wine, and divine Chianti wine. Um, these are available on Amazon and you might also be able to find some in a store near you. So that wraps up our low sodium pasta sauces. Again, if you like videos like this and you like information like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to let me know so I can start making more videos. Thanks.